this is hydrogen tap. What we're now doing is another pulse system. This battery is 1.33 volts. It's a triple A. What I'm doing now is checking to see what happens to the battery after we take and generate the voltage from it. What I've done instead of the switch I've been pushing before is I've added a relay that automatically opens and closes, and that's going to be our pulse system. So it's a mechanical relay. We're using a one and a half volt battery, which you saw was 1.33, I think. It's triple A. And you can see we're getting 0.36 voltage off the capacitor that we're going to be charging. We could zero that out, but that's most probably going to be where it ends up anyway, because the capacitors gather some voltage out of the air. It's a potential anyway. You can look that word up. Right now, we're going to start the system off by putting the relay in the start position, and it's running now. We're getting this voltage off a 1.33 volt battery, or 1.5 volt AAA. If you look very closely, you can see the chattering of the relay. So the relay is opening and closing, which is doing the work that I was doing in the last two videos only it's doing a better job. We've now got reached the 13 volt, almost 14 volts. This is coming off the one and a half volt battery or 1.33. And you can see it's going up pretty fast. This meter is set on the 20 volt scale. So in just a few moments we're going to surpass that and we're going to have to turn the dial up. The question here is whether Meyer, whether Myers was actually pulsing the system or whether he was using frequency. It's my judgment. So far, I believe he was only pulsing, and I don't believe the frequency had anything to do with the hydrogen that he was getting off of it. You can see there's a little capacitor there, which is slowing down the chatter or the amount of time it takes to open and close the relay. Right now we're at almost 19 volts. There we go. I believe that Myers was pulsing the circuit using the plates for a capacitor, just as he said overloading the plates to such a degree that you get a complete discharge across it, that's what made the hydrogen. So right now what I'm doing is checking to see what you can do with this pulsing system. So in fact, we've taken the pulsing system away from the circuit itself. I'm using a capacitor to take the place of the plates. What this test is to do is to see what is going to be left in that 1.33 volt battery when we're through here. Remember now we've got 22 volts on the capacitor. This is a potential of 22 volts, meaning we have a charge of 22 volts on it. So the capacitor is taking the place of the plates that will be making the hydrogen. The plates become a capacitor by using a non-conductor in between. In this case, what we'd be using would be water. So while everyone's trying to put some kind of electrolyte in the water to make it so that the electricity goes across the plates, Myers is pulsing the plates 
turning it into a capacitor, having a potential difference between the two plates, which eventually builds up to such a degree you get a discharge. Okay, we've stopped the system, and what we're going to do is take a reading on that 1.33 volt battery. So we'll put the leads across the battery that was running this. And we've got 1.29. I th believe we had 1.33 before. It's going to go up a few in a few seconds because the battery's got to recover from its use. So it's between 129 and 130, and it was 133 before. So 1.33. Remember, all we've done is pulse through a transformer, boost the voltage, then capture the voltage in the capacitor. And if you look there, you can see the voltage in the capacitor, the potential in capacitor is 22.70. So about 22 volts. We've lost about 3 volts in the battery. We've gained 22 volts in the capacitor. We're dealing with potentials here. To me, it doesn't matter whether we've got amperage there or not. As soon as the voltage reaches a certain critical mass between the plates or the capacitor, you're going to get a discharge. The discharge is going to go through the water and it's going to create hydrogen. You can see we've got 22.2 volts in the capacitor. Eventually capacitors leak voltage. Eventually the voltage will disappear. Just so Someone can't tell you the voltage won't do any work or isn't worth anything. I'm going to put this 12-volt relay. You can see the size of this relay. I'm going to put it across that capacitor. Remember, we've only lost point, what, 0.3. That takes power to pull that relay in. That's a 12-volt relay, and I'm going to put it across. Now you watch. There you go. Once. Actually, we did it twice. So it pulled in that 12-volt relay. That was work that that voltage performed. I'm still a believer, I still believe Meyer was running a pulse system, not frequency.